What's good, everybody? This your boy NJW. Today we're watching the loyalty test video. Let's see how this video go. Let's let's get it to it. You loyal to her or not? So nice to finally meet you, Cheyenne. Nice uh, you. This is Gabe. He's my security. You know what I'm saying? That's real behind the camera or whatever. Um, what stood out to me about your story is basically that you left your whole home in Mississippi, came out here, was with your boyfriend for seven months. You're alone, you have no family out here, and for him to switch up on you like that. Can you kind of go into more detail about like why you got to this point? Thanks to Cheyenne, we knew that Stag was celebrating his 25th birthday at Dome, giving us the perfect window opportunity to test his loyalty. He used to take me out with him all the time, and now it's just like, he's been changing up. Like he's barely answering the phone. He's barely um, texting me back when he go out with his homeboys and stuff. So my intuition just telling me that he cheating. Straight to the point. So um, outside of his homeboys, do y'all have mutual friends? Mm -hmm. Like when he's doing shit and you at home, do you have things to do or did you meet new people from being out here? Yeah, I have a few friends from uh, being out in a club, but we don't have any mutual friends. First red flag was the fact that Cheyenne's boyfriend did not invite her out to celebrate his 25th birthday. However, he could have just wanted to do something with his friends and afterwards do something more intimate with her alone. But that still didn't rub Cheyenne the right way. Okay, so outside of him just not inviting you out, are there any other red flags? Yeah, the red flag is basically, it's supposed to be his birthday weekend. He's supposed to be going out. He, he didn't invite me out with him. He, he didn't say I could come with him for his birthday, so. What? Yeah, so. But did he tell you not to come? Well, he said it's just him and his boys, so uh, I guess no girls allowed. So I don't know. Like, it's, it's kind of weird that he wouldn't no, invite me. No, that's definitely me, you weird. Know, that's definitely them. weird. Um, for his birthday, you know. Do you know where they're going? Uh, I think they're going to be at Dome. I think that's the name of the club, Dome. Okay. So uh, what we can do, um, if you want to do something close to his birthday or on his birthday, you just have to send me those details, and we can kind of okay. just try to draw some up to try to see if we can execute a test or not. Okay. Um, if you have any so what do you guys think about this so far? He brought her out of town. He he's not interested in her no, no more. She must have showed him something that he didn't like before she moved there. Because that's one thing about dealing with people. You don't know how they are until you move them in. Any questions for me within that time period, just go ahead and feel free to reach out. Okay. Or any concerns, even if you don't want to do it no more, just let me know what's up. Okay. And this is how we came up with the idea of Cheyenne gifting her boyfriend transportation for that night. The plan was for Cheyenne to tell Stag that the transportation that she rented out was for him and his friends to get home safe because she didn't want him out driving and being intoxicated. Oh, how come every time we go to Atlanta, bro? <laughs> like, come on, bro. So yeah, look, we just left Atlanta. We did a consultation with somebody and we flew out there for no reason because I don't feel like they're going to do it. But good thing about it, tonight, we got to meet up with Cheyenne and we're going to execute her test tonight. Uh, with her boyfriend Stag or whatever. We ain't going to Atlanta no more, bro. At all, bro. Hey. Are you back to me? Yeah, what's good, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's I good? Like watch your channel, what's bro. What's up? What's uh, up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, what's going on? Like, man? Oh, hey, for sure. Can I get a picture, bro? Nah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, bro. Go ahead. Picture, bro. I got you. Hey, man, I watch you all the time, bro. Yeah. Five, two, four. I got you. Yeah, right. man, I appreciate that, man. What's up, bro? What y'all doing? See, we about to go to the grid. Hey, man. What's up, man? Hey, uh, that cash up to the best of the world, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, can you like show me the uh, technique, bro, so I can check it out? Did you try to do it already? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> crazy ass, like the cash. <laughs> nah, look, just go to my, go to one of my videos, click the link in, in it or whatever. All right, bet. So basically, it's like self-explanatory. You're gonna put your email in, personal information, whatever, ask you for it, and just. Did you do any deals already? Uh, no, nah, not yet. You gotta complete deals. You gotta actually like download the apps and shit, gotcha. and play the games and shit. Gotcha, gotcha. This one right here, right? Yeah, any video that you that you see it in. Oh, bad, bad. Is it the link in the description? Yeah. Oh, so sure. just click the link in the description. It's gonna take you to this one right here, right? Yeah. Oh, bad. The app? Huh? Yeah, click it. Oh, sure. I don't want that money. Nah, for <laughs> sure, that money. Uh, How many times you try to do it? I ain't gonna lie, I seen no little Mars stuff and I did it like one time, but I ain't really go through it all the way. That's why yeah, you gotta go through it all the way. Make sure you download the apps, play the games or whatever. What's your Instagram? Give me your Instagram. Uh, Just my follow me on Instagram and send me a message. And um. Let you know that I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for shit, show. Sure. Like that boy got me out here doing a promo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bro, that's crazy. He's really that's good, bro. Promo, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I might. Hey, keep that. I might use that, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I just did a whole promo, bro. But the plan was to actually get our decoy to go to his section and make her way on the van so she can actually test his loyalty. So tonight we're conducting this loyalty test and this is actually the first time that Cheyenne and Micah, the decoy, actually get to meet. So we're gonna go ahead and discuss the do's and don'ts like we always do. Cheyenne, this is Micah. Micah, this is Cheyenne. Hey, girl. Meet you, girl. She will be playing the decoy for today's video. Okay. So now this is the perfect time where you can tell her what she can and cannot do while she's conducting the test. Well, basically, I mean, I don't have no, uh, no limits. You can do anything. Like, I don't care, girl. Anything? I just want to see, yeah, I just want to see if you're going to fall for it. Okay. So I don't care. You can go as far as you can go. All right. As far as you want to. All right, man. So before I reached out to you earlier today, I was actually thinking about going into the club and conducting it here only because um, the fact that he might be. So they use decoys on this Jack TV, which is a good uh, strategy because you never know how they're going to react to a random person walking up to them. Be intoxicated or under the influence, it may like fuck up the integrity of the test. So he don't really drink that much, but he'll probably drink some, but he probably won't be drunk though. Okay. He don't ever get drunk. Based on what he do, like how much would you blame on the liquor? I mean, I wouldn't blame it on the liquor. Like, you he's gonna make, yeah, and he just like, and he's gonna make the decision he want to make. So. So, Michael, when you go in, he's going to be in Section 26. All you're going to do is approach him, and you got to act like you're just a party girl. You know okay. what I mean? Go up to him, you know what I'm saying? Flirt with him. Make make sure he knows that you know that you feel like he's attractive. And then, you know, try to go home with him on some group shit. Okay. <laughs> I know that's not yeah. ideal, yeah. but we need you to get back to this van. All right. Okay? For sure. So, were you able to give Stag the driver information? Like, does he know he got a driver after he get out the club? Yeah. Okay. Cool okay, cool. So... Hopefully everything goes right, being that they intoxicated, and let's see what happens. Yo, Jack, man. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hey, bro, I know I met you for the first time yesterday, bro, but whenever I see your videos, bro, I be thinking that cash out shit fake. I swear to God, <laughs> I really yeah, do. Bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yo, so, Beam, I'm doing all these videos. I'm like, bro, I'm clicking, I'm, I'm playing the games and shit. I'm like, bro, this shit gotta be fake, my nigga. So, boom, I stopped and I went to sleep. I wake up the next morning, beep, 250 <laughs> in my account, nigga. Man, they don't believe me. Look. I told you, bro, all you gotta do is be patient. There you go. Yup. Yup. Yes, sir. All you gotta do is be patient, bro. Hey, bro, appreciate it, bro. I don't wanna take up too much of your time, bro. Oh, shit, I'm, I'm looking at this now. Man. Let me see if the link works. Nah, for sure. Nice meeting you, though, bro, for sure. Yes, sir. Stay up. So now that everything is in place, we brief Mike on exactly what to it. do and how to approach Stag. Cheyenne will be in a car with me and the team watching everything that goes down. Will Stag pass his loyalty test or will he prove Cheyenne right and fail by making a pass at our decoy on his birthday? Let's find out now. So you guys, Stag's section was already full according to what our decoy came back and told us. After sending Micah in the club, she texted us and informed us that his section was already full and it was very hard to actually get to him. And according to his Instagram story, it wasn't hard to see that. So we waited a couple hours outside of the club you guys waiting on stag and his friends to come outside because michael wasn't able to make her move inside of the club on stag this is her only opportunity to make her move right now so we can see where this goes excuse me hey light skin you good how you doing I peeped you in the club. I was trying to see. What y'all? My friends dished me. They dished you? Yeah, like, you know how you be. You wanna go with a nigga and you ready to go? Nah, but like, you really too bad. Why the fuck ain't nobody say nothing? I don't know, but like, what y'all? This your man? Yeah, this my little Oh, what's up? Yeah, oh, yeah. this my this my uh sprinter. Why you trying to you trying to you trying to slide with? This your sprinter? Yeah, we trying to go to the after. I was trying oh, to. Oh, this how nice. Hold on. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. You got to, to go where? We trying, we trying to hop out. We trying to go to the after house. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For I, I can fuck with y'all. Come on. Okay, then. Come yeah, on. Come on. Oh, so he 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 brought into the van. That was easy. It's oh, an automatic fail for you, huh? Yeah. Oh, this bitch nice. Oh, he is nice. What'd he drop? Oh. <laughs> yeah, make sure we follow them so they, they won't get away. Huh? Huh? What's your name again? Micah. Micah? Yes. Like Mike and Ike. Like Micah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> What's your name again? Stag. You want to touch? Yeah. Hold on. 
We gonna find you. Bro, not, not here. here. Not here. We was in the club for literally <laughs> four hours. <laughs> you wanna know no hoes. I know it. Bro. He dropped something. So, uh, I don't know if this staged or not, but he dropped something. I'm finna get We just know we're not here. We're just not here. We're 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 not here. we Hey, uh, driver, I need you to go out here and slide to that Marriott, bro. It's about that time, oh God. Wait, so he said he was going to the Marriott? Yeah, that's what he said. He didn't say nothing about going to the Marriott. He just said he was going out with his homeboys and going home. <sighs> the Marriott? Oh. The Marriott, the address that I sent you. Ooh, what's happening there? Girl, I'm playing. Girl is crazy. Tonight, baby, baby, don't play with me. Tonight is not that night. So I gotta worry about somebody knocking on your hotel room or something? Why would you have to worry about all this? I'm just saying, you look like you got, you know. Like I got what? Something going on. What about me makes you feel you like that? You got a couple situations going on, but what like. What about me makes you feel like that? I don't know, you just handsome. You real handsome, but I like... Lie, baby. I don't even know why you playing with me like that. I'm saying, just though, like you single? You're I'm very much single. Like, sing oh! 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 That's for me to get the problem. Oh, my God. Yeah, we just gonna play. That's what he get for lying. So that was, that, was his, that was his first lie right there. And fuck up. Just up there. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Bro! Hell no, son. You alright? Dang. You good? Hey, driver, hurry up. Hurry up, it's crazy. Hell, my legs, what I might as well go and come up out to eat, huh? One thing about a man, he'll fall for something like this because in his mind, he should be thinking, this is too easy. This is, she's too gorgeous to be that easy. Like, that, like that. Like, I'll be thinking this is a setup off the dribble. Some type of setup. No, I mean, you I, just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you think it. I know you don't, but see, you, you look at So answer my question, though, yes or no? How about what? Like, is you completely, like, up for grabs? Listen, I am completely up for grabs. I don't have you work situation out? shit. See? You stop flexing. I'm not flexing. Relax, you are flexing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you got dimples. <laughs> Yo, you funny. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie. Look, check this out, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie. You down there finna give me an anxiety attack. Yeah, oh God. I'm all for real. We're a friend. They're not here. We gotta find your own. Hey, yeah, find look, your I don't know why she keep asking me do I got a girl, bro. Why? Right? Don't got no girl. You don't cap. Right, you don't got no girl. I don't need to lie about nothing. My brother. I don't got no girl. No girl. I don't got no girl. I don't even play like this. Who gets the money, huh? I don't even play like this. We just gonna avoid that conversation because he your man, so he gonna ride for you. Oh, I ain't got no. So, it's cool though. It's cool. Him himself, no, I ain't got no girl. It's alright. Him himself, it's okay. I don't got no girl. It's all right. It's all right. I ain't gonna lie, uh, Miss Mike and Ike, uh, Steg. <laughs> What's up? What you trying to do? Man, let me call you up in the wine glass and let you know I really want these classy ass bitches. I ain't not holding them. Yeah. I don't think you need no more. That's for me or you? For you. Man, I'm just so dude. Bad. Like, what is you got going you on? Just sip on that. Just like I'm. You trying to turn me up for what? What you mean? We're gonna go back to the hotel. What you mean? Okay, and what's what that mean? You already know what type of time I was on. I was in the club. You not trying to fuck? This nigga trying to fuck? Nah, just pull this bitch over. Pull this bitch over right now. I'm, I'm ready to get out. We gotta wait to see where they going though. 
We can see where the vibe. We can see where the vibe. You who against it though? All right, so what if I? So he failed that test already. So she already got her answer. She said, "Pull this motherfucker over." He ready to fuck right there. He just mad. He don't know a name. He don't know a, nothing about it. He just ready to give yourself a part. I said no. What if I said no? You gotta go. All right, and then when I pass I'm my yes. mama in the middle. Hey, driver. And then when I pass yes. I'm my daddy. Stop in the middle of the street. She gotta get the fuck out. This your man? Right yeah. now. <laughs> you, you condone this? Yay or nay? That's God. Yay or nay? Or nay? Is you trying to... Whatever you want to do. It's your world. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. I love her. I love you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, we in man. I'm not taking this big ass. <laughs> I can say we in love. He's <laughs> he said we in love. He said I love you. <laughs> it is funny. You got me f up. All right, we're in person with my crew. Okay, 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 okay. How long you? Are you from Houston? Yeah, no, I'm from Michigan. Detroit. Are you from Detroit? Mm-hmm. Where are you from? Oh, you from eight mile from where? Uh, I'm from Eminem. Eminem and shit be from. Uh, I mean, if you if that's what you wanna, I guess Detroit. You can rap. Not eight mile, no. Can you, you can rap? rap? I can rap. I'm rapping rap for this on. I look. I look. I'm screaming. Yeah, take it all the to the motherfucking Marriott. Oh look, little MK. Now what I'm about? Man, I'm about oh. to bend that ass over, get a penny. Okay. You already know. Oh, oh, I'm about to end it. I already know. I'm about to lick on that pussy. What? You already know. It was mushy. It was good. Shoot. Oh, start with the 30 on That's enough. 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 Huh? <laughs> How much do you weigh? 150. Okay. How much you weigh? Like 170. I ain't gonna lie, baby. You know what I'm doing, man. You wanna see how I see? You smell. You saying baby boy? Yeah. You know what that Melvin shit is? Yeah. <laughs> you think you know what it is. <laughs> so if I sit on you, I'm gonna be heavy? Sit on me. I'm like five and little again. Times 12. <laughs> I'm heavy. Bro, and then she smells so good. Oh my god. What you be wearing? It's your natural scent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, uh. Oh, great. Be bad at me. <laughs> it's, <all this>. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious that Stag already failed his loyalty test, you guys. Cheyenne already said that the fact that he even invited her on the van, that it was an automatic fail. But we had to wait, you guys, because the van was actually moving. And now it's just time to go ahead and confirm him. I really just tired just tired to come home. He might want to fight. He said what? He's surprised. Where is that? What is this? What, Bro, what the fuck is all this? I, I ain't going to lie. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck all of this. I ain't going to lie. Look. Hey, Sam, I'm I'm over that time you've been on lunch test, bro. We know exactly what's been going on. I ain't going to lie. You, what I gotta you, do? Go to the club you, and throw some money. No, you got bitches coming in your section. You got bitches coming in your section. And you bring it to club. Well, not for this movie, y'all. This movie, y'all. This movie, y'all. You a partner, bitch? You came out there to the other place. She's the decoy, bro. The whole entire time she came to your section. She don't matter. He mad now. I ain't gonna lie. He mad now. He done got caught. He mad at the bitch. He wanted her. No. You Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen.
So you guys, unfortunately, being that we was at a five-star hotel, hotel security came down and told us we had to move mm -hmm. because we had no permission to be filming there and Stag was causing a big scene and things kind of got out of hand. Unfortunately, I cannot show it because this video kept going yellow, you guys, and I had to edit most of these clips out. Maybe I'll start a Patreon later on down the line. Look for that in the description. Well, one thing about this video and my reaction to it is he's going to end up getting hurt doing these videos because that's you playing with people's emotions at the wrong time. Like, he was drunk. He shouldn't let the uh, patron, he shouldn't approach them when they drunk. Well, that's my reaction to this video. He, she, he did not pass the loyalty test, and then she found out the truth. This your boy, NJW. Thank you for joining me today.